Hello friends, this video phonics section part 11 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched conic section part 1 to part 10. Let me introduce you to hyperbola. Hyperbola is a set of all points in the plane, the difference of whose distance from two points in the plane is constant. For example, in case of ellipse, we have seen the sum of distance was constant. Here the difference of distance is constant. You take any point, sample P1 you take. So P1 F2 minus P1 F1, this will be same as P2 F1 minus P2 F2. And this will also be same as P3 F1 minus P3 F2. So any from this point and this point f1 and f2 they are constant point you take any point in the in the hyperbola the difference is always constant and the difference is the the difference without any sign without any positive or negative signs that the I'll repeat once again in case of hyperbola the difference of distance from these two fixed points f1 and f2 is always constant here also we have this axis this transverse axis the line perpendicular to the transverse axis is called conjugate axis. The point where the hyperbola meet the transverse axis is called vertices, and the fixed points are called focus. Now let's discuss. Now let's discuss terms in hyperbola. The two fixed points are called foci, as I explained. The midpoint of the line segment joining the two foci is called center. Center of the hyperbola. Line through the foci is called transverse axis. So this foci, the line through this is called transverse axis. This is called transverse axis. Line perpendicular to transverse axis and passing through center is called conjugate axis. And the point at which hyperbola intersect with the axis is called vertices. The other vertices. And these line is called asymptotes. This equation is the slope of this is, is nothing but minus b by a. This is the slope of this equation, the line. y is equal to b by a and y is equal to minus plus b by a and minus b by a. These are the two lines are called asymptote. Now let's see distance in hyperbola. This distance from 0 to vertex is called a. In case of ellipse also you saw this distance was A and the distance from center to focus is called C. So this distance is called C. This distance is called A. Here you note that C is greater than A and B is this distance. You have the asymptote. You take this point A here. You draw a perpendicular. It meets the asymptote at point at the point, so this distance is called B. So we have A, B and C. Again, distance between two foci is 2C. Distance between two vertices is 2A with length of trauma triangle axis and the length of conjugate axis is 2B. And the relation also here to holds true that is B square is equal to C square minus A square. Now we will discuss eccentricity eccentricity is nothing but c by a and here it is never less than 1 because c is always greater than or equal to a. Now we will discuss standard equations of hyperbola. Here also the equations of hyperbola is simplest if the center of hyperbola is at origin and the foci are on x or y axis. This is case 1, this is case 2. When the foci is on x-axis, it is case 1. When the foci is on y-axis, it is case 2. Let's take both the cases. In case of case 1, the foci is on x-axis. So if you see this focus, this is on the x-axis. The equation of this hyperbola is x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1. Please note, when the foci is on the x-axis and this distance a, this is vertices, this is a, and the distance b is actually this is the b distance then the equation is x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1 
In case of 2, when the foci is on the y axis, if you see here, and this is A here again, and this distance is B here, this distance is B. So here, the equation is y squared by a squared minus b squared squared. So if you notice here, this is x squared comes first, here y squared comes first. In both the cases, a squared b squared and here also a squared b squared. Please remember, the normal equation is x squared by a squared minus y squared by b squared is equal to 1 when the foci is on the x-axis. And in case when the foci is on the y-axis, the equation is y squared by a squared minus x squared by b squared is equal to 1. Please make a note of this formula. It's very crucial. Don't get confused. y squared comes first here. y squared minus by a squared because if you see in this y squared term you have a squared. So it's a in y. So it is y squared by a squared minus x squared by b squared is equal to 1. It is, it is simple to learn. If you notice that a square b square will never change the position. a square will always come before b square. In this case, since the a is in the x-axis, so you say x square by a square. In this case, since a is in the y-axis, so you say y square by a square. So observation hyperbola. Hyperbola is also symmetric with both axes. Here also, if x y is a point, then minus x comma y x comma minus y and minus x comma minus y will also be a point in the hyperbola. The foci always are on the tra transverse axis. Now we'll prove the hyperbola equation. Let's take this point A here. Now let's find the difference of AF1 minus AF2. Because we are told that the difference of the distance between any point in this hyperbola and these two focus is constant. So AF1, this distance is A, this is A, and this is C. This is C, this is A, and this is C minus A. Correct? So AF1 will be C plus A. That will be C plus A minus AF2 will be C minus A minus C minus A. And that comes out to be 2A. That is the difference between any, you take any point in this hyperbola, the difference between the distance of that point from F1 and F2 will be 2A. So let's take this point P now. Now we are told that PF1 minus PF2 is equal to 2A. Because this is true for any point in the hyperbola. The statement that the difference in the distance of any point in the hyperbola from F1 and F2 will be 2A. So this is equal to PF, PF1 is nothing but root of x plus c square plus y minus 0 square. This is pf1 minus pf2 is nothing but root of x minus c square plus y minus 0 square. And this is equal to 2 of a. Correct? Or we can say root of x plus c square plus y square is equal to 2a plus root of x minus c square plus y square. Correct? Now let me square these two equations, both the equations. Left hand side RHS. Let me square both. So what I get is x plus c square plus y square is equal to 4a square plus x minus c square plus y square plus 2 into 2a dot root of x minus c square plus y square. Correct? Let me expand this again. So this becomes x square plus c square plus 2xc plus y square is equal to 4a square plus x square plus c square 
minus this is a minus 2xc plus y square plus 4a into root of x minus c square plus y square x square plus c square plus y square x square plus c square plus y square cancel both sides so what we get is What do you get it? 4xc minus 4a square is equal to 4a into root of x minus c square plus y square. We'll take 4a cancel uh, common. So what do you get? 4a into xc by a minus a is equal to 4a into root of x minus c square plus y square. 4a, 4a cut because a is not equal to 0. We have got this. Now we can square these two equations. We can square these two. So what we get is x square c square by a square plus a square minus 2 xc by a into a is equal to x square plus c square minus 2 xe plus y square correct this a is a is cancel 2xc 2xc cancel so what we get here is a light equation here only first or x square into c square mine by a square minus 1 minus y square is equal to c square minus y square this is what we have got. So we write the equation here. This is nothing but x square into c square minus a square by a square minus y square is equal to c square minus a square. Now we know that b square is equal to c square minus a square. So we'll put this. This becomes x square b square by a square minus y square is equal to b square. So we will divide the whole this equation by b square by b square by b square this cancel or what we get is x square x square by a square minus y square by b square is equal to 1 and that is the equation of hyperbola. What we have done? We have found the difference between any two point in uh, the point, the difference in distance of a point from f1 and f2. That is two way. We took a point P x y, and we told that this difference between these two is two way. We equated this and we got the answer. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.